Hi, this is Richard Byrne at PreTechForTeachers.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can create custom backgrounds for Padlet walls. So we're going to use a combination of Google Drive and a screen capture tool to make this happen. So I'm going to go over here to Google Drive and I'm going to create a new document. And we're going to change the layout of this document from the standard portrait view to the landscape view. To do that, go to the file menu, get your page set up, and change it to landscape. And here you can go in and change your page color if you want to use a different uh, background on your page colors. Let's say I want to use uh, like a light blue background. Okay. So there's my background. And now I want to set up some columns in my page here. So let's go to the table menu. We'll insert a table and I just need three columns. And I'm just going to run that down the screen a bit. And so that my columns are a little bit more distinct when my students see them in the Padlet wall later. We'll just go back into the table menu select table properties and make our border a little bit thicker around the table. We can even change the cell background color if we want to. Let's say we want to do it like a light gray in the cell background. Click OK. We can do the same thing all the way through with those cells. Let's make that table property. Change our cell background color. Click OK and do it one more time, select that cell, table properties. There we go. Now, I want to use this as my background in Padlet. So to do that, I'm going to shrink my toolbar menu there on the right hand side. And I'm going to use a tool called Sketch, but you can use any other uh, screen capture tool. Take a screen snap here and line it up. And there's my set of columns now. I'll just go ahead and save that. Now back here in Padlet, let's go ahead and create my new wall. I've already signed it to my account. And let's go ahead and on the right hand side here, modify this wall. We'll call it brainstorming. And let's change the wallpaper to add your own. We'll upload that file that we just created. Click Submit. And now we have columns in our Padlet wall. Of course, if I wanted to, I could go back into the document, put labels across the top, take the screenshot, and upload that. If I want to change it out, I can do it that way. And then I'll use the layout setting with a grid format so that it snaps uh, into an order. Or you can use free form and have students just manually move notes into the columns on the Padlet wall. So that's how you can create custom columns in a Padlet wall. For more tips and tricks like this, check out freetechforteachers.com.